That does not make sense. No, no sorry. Anyway, um, what I was trying to say when we when the news got out was that a generator, a bubble, and a totem being placed in a house, while like say like you and me, right? When we play, we fortify a place. You know, I'm your mm -hmm. eyes and ears, and I tell you when where the team the enemy's at, and I run around the building to get a vantage point. But we don't leave the house, and you put the generator down. You know, it's refilling our shields while also protecting us from projectiles. What I was thinking was, like, my mentality was put the generator down, right, to protect from projectiles and shield us, right? Put the totem down, because that way, when we come back, say we take accidental damage to shields, the generators, they're refilling it slowly, so it helps us out with the healing process. Now, if there was a Gibraltar on the team, they can put the bubble on top of the generator or sorry in between the generator and the totem for extra protection that's what i was thinking because then two people that take the totem can run out find the, the enemy team call out the position tell you what armor it is tell you what they're running what characters they're running and then if they get down they have full information proper intel to move forward and engage or stay fortified that was my mentality that's the way I would say is the proper or at least a better use of the totem. But nobody does it. They just put it out in the open, like where everyone can see it and shoot at it. Or even like take a leisurely stroll up to it and just shoot it. Because it doesn't take much damage to even like hit it. Like, I mean, destroy it. I think it's like... The totem? Yeah, I don't think it even has that much health to begin with. Because I've gone up to it and I shot it maybe three times with a G7 and it'll just blow up. And the G7, I don't even remember how much damage output it has for a single shot, but I'm pretty sure it's not that great. So, regardless, fortifying... About 30, about 30? So yeah, there you go. If it takes three shots, then that's what? That is... 90. That's 90. So that's blue armor. Essentially, the equivalent to blue armor, roughly. So, that's why I was like fortifying the totem is priority number one you know but no one does it and that's why everyone's all pissy because they're like oh i can't you know i can't use it properly it's like no it's just you're not using it in a proper situation and that's why i hated it i also it. think people got bored of him very easily Mhm. Mm because like his you kid know? is very standard like he doesn't ah i don't want to say that hold on <clears throat> what am I trying to say here? Because, like, his kit is so... <sighs> no, I don't think Shy's happy. It's... <clears throat> it's so standard. It's... It's... <clears throat> Excuse me. It's like... I don't know how to explain it. There's not much he offers to a team other than the totem. He offers the I user. I mean, honestly, he like offers his, the user. His tactical, his tactical is pretty nice, but you have to be able to throw it correctly. Exactly. Exactly. You know, like because mm -hmm. it it honestly would help a lot. Like a wraith, she uses her tactical to get away easily, and a lot of times it'll destroy you because you will lose sight of her. Or, mm -hmm. you know, she you can't shoot at her while she's running. And mm -hmm. she's able to get somewhere and heal up. Yeah. Like, a Pathfinder, you could reposition easily, you know? I have to look at the other legends. I don't know yet. Uh, let's see. Bangalore, you can't use your smokes, you know? Uh, Caustic can't use his traps. Watson can't use her traps. Octane, I don't care about. <laughs> Gibby can't use his bubble, you know? Mm -hmm. And that's... That's not even acknowledging their the fact that they can't use their ultimates either. I mean, I think it's the very thing helpful. That, the problem with the tactical is that its AOE is very small. Like, you have to be standing right next to it to even be remotely affected. Yeah, you affected. have to, like, fully hit them with it. Mm -hmm. because I didn't know that it's if you very, walked into it, it affected you. I fully like, walked misleading. into one, and I was like, oh, shoot. Yeah, because it's like a big glowing ball. And it's like a radius, but the radius has no effect. It's like the ball in the center. And it's so small. Like, how are you supposed to, you know? And then some 
some of them are using it, like, even if they are playing as Revenant, they're using it in a way, they're tactical, where it won't work, so they'll throw mm -hmm. it in, and then they'll rush. Yeah. But even if they don't hit anybody. Or if it lands short, seconds. even. Mm -hmm. Like, even... I mean, like, they're throwing it in, like, confined spaces. But the thing mm -hmm. is, even if you do throw it in a confined space, you still have to take the time to push that team. Oh, and yeah. usually, by the time they get to the team, it's already over. Oh, yeah. So Big it's time. pointless. No, yeah. It, see, that's... He's so... He's very situational. And he's supposed to get the upper hand with movement and climbing. But it, no one... I don't know. I don't see anyone putting him into use, proper use. I think he's like Crypto, but in a worse situation. Because oh, at yeah. least with Crypto, he's gotten redemption. Like, people are starting... He's gaining more and more popularity as they mm -hmm. keep, like, giving him uh, These buffs. buffs. Oh yeah. my god, the reload in like... drone was so good. That's probably one of the things he should have had way early on. Because... Reloading was always such an issue because sometimes I'll be like, hey, I have to go look at this team, but I haven't reloaded yet. And then I go back into it and I'm in the middle of reloading and then someone shows up, right? Or we have to move, right? Because like, we're like, hey, hey, there's more teams. We have to get out of here or reposition. And I'm like, ah, oh, fuck, I got to run. So I put the guns away so I don't reload. And then that was something that was always bothering me because I have to reload and I'm, I'm always trying to. But at the same time, I have to do my job and make sure we're clear. And sometimes I look into the drone and then there's another team that's just like right around the corner and it's just too late. So I have to swap weapons or whatever. And then, yeah, so that reload thing was so good because now I don't have to have fear of not having my gun up to up, you know, up to speed and have it ready. You know, mm -hmm. and that's why I was like, "Oh, perfect." The only thing that I wish it could have was a zooming, a, like a zoom function. You know. Yeah, but I think that might make him that might buff him a little too much. You know. Well, no, not even like, like a two times. I think that would be more than enough. Mm. You know, like not Maybe. like a not like a three or four, just, just a two. Yeah. Because a two. Granted, it's not that great, but at least it gives him some sort of focus on what he's looking at. Because I can be, let's say, 150 out, and I can see you moving, but sometimes the environment causes a like a. It causes you to get cloaked, right? Like say say your costume kind of matches a little bit with the environment, and then sometimes I'm like, "What are you?" Because you guys say, "Oh, they're here." and you ping, but even though you ping, I still can't see it. And then I have to go closer, and then that's when I'm like, oh, okay, now I see it. But if he had a zoom, then it would kind of make it easier for the player to focus in on the target that they're specifically looking for. That's my one thing. Like, the reloading was fine, and I think it's perfect, but I feel, you know, I feel like a zoom would help. Yeah. At least a little like bit. Crypto is such an interesting case because um, at the beginning of Season 3, no one liked him, like, after the first day. No. And, like, even you and Justin, you guys hate... Like, anytime I tried to play as him, you guys were like, no, we will leave. No, you are not... You can't do this to us. And I was like, but he's he's not bad. And then, you know, you start... <laughs> I think you started playing as him because you were scared about who to use for uh, Season 4. But also oh, slightly yeah. because well, because uh, here's the I thing. Was... The the problem with season four was is that I knew things were changing drastically. I just I I know it's hard to explain, but sometimes I just I saw it. That's all I can say. I saw I I looked into the future and I saw what it was, and I was like, okay, I know this is gonna change, and I know that Bangalore won't be able to do it for me because I was already burning out. You know, I was like already, I'm already getting tired of her because I already capped out. Like, I feel like I've already achieved what I wanted to. So I knew if I went into another season with the same character that I was just going to burn out completely. And like, I went through all of these legends. I went through all of them. I even went back to the, my original main and it didn't work. <coughs> like in terms of traversal, like just 
just going through the map it just wasn't working i did every single character at least like at least a dozen times at least a dozen and i did it when you guys weren't around because i didn't want to cause any like problems with the team so i did it on my own went to the range i did everything that i could to just see what i could do and for a while it was bloodhound i know it sounds crazy but it was bloodhound for the longest time I mean, he works for me. And well, Justin no, exactly. But up. here's the thing. I was still in the mentality of being a Bangalore. And yeah. And with Bloodhound, it just wasn't working. It doesn't work. It's impossible. You know? At least with the Wraith, I can kind of do the whole skirmishing thing. Maybe not on par, but I can do it. But, you know, at the same time, I was like, I would want something completely different. And none of these characters are helping you know like i went back to watson for like three days and i was like this isn't working either because i picked her up for a while and i liked what i was doing but at the same time i wasn't getting the fulfillment that i'm looking for you know right yeah because like i can play the game i can play for fun but at the same time there's that part of me that says hey this is your job because people want you to play because they know what you can do and you have to be able to support them and give them what they need you know provide the service as it were so i wasn't getting it and then that one time that one accidental pick you remember i and do then, yeah and no, then we won what i was trying to say twice in a row at some point you picked him accidentally Mm -hmm. And then I think an at another point you picked him because we were all playing characters we weren't good at. Or that, like, either yeah. we were doing challenges or we were picking characters that we knew we did not like and weren't good at. Mm -hmm. I no, think yeah. I did, like, I think I did Mirage because I just could not do Octane. But yeah. And it's weird because you started off playing as him because you didn't like him. Mm -hmm. And I find that so interesting because your opinion about him has changed completely. It took a while. Oh, it yeah. It took a really long like, time. Even, even through the, my first month with him, it was rough. I know, I, know, I remember. You because, just... like, it was working, and I was getting that fulfillment that I was getting with Bangalore, right? Where I was you weren't happy about it. No, were... I wasn't. <laughs> because at the like time, it. like, I was cheating on Bangalore, and all these stats were going just... to him, and I would rather have it, it on her. You know it wasn't I mean. just that the fact that you were cheating on Bangalore. It was uh, the idea of crypto that you already had in your head. You yes. know that he was he was not useful, and you were like, "This is not going to help the team." <laughs> but then you were getting results, and I was like, "Ooh." It was the results. Do do? Well, no, not even <laughs> what do no, I do no, with no. This? not even results. It was just the fulfillment, because like I said, yeah. when I play with you guys, I'm here to provide a service. I'm here to provide what you need, in order to get what you want to be. Whether it's top three, top five, or top ten, I can give you that. I can put you there. With 100% confidence, I can say that I can without failure. You know? And if I fail, it's because I blinked. You know? So, moving into crypto, I was like, this is weird because I feel, I'm feeling it. Like, I feel that sensation that I get with Bangalore. And I was like, man, this is crazy. How do I continue this how do i move forward with it and i was very conflicted because like i said i was adding to his stats rather than my main and that's was that was the big problem with me and for like the first three weeks i hit a cap where i wasn't moving forward but i was moving backward with him and i was like okay so i threw out my first method and I decided to change it up completely. And I think, I don't know if you remember, but I sent everyone a text where I was like, I need feedback. And here is my routine with crypto. Yes, yes, I do remember and that. I, I was remember like, being confused. <laughs> and I was just like, I need to know what I can do to help you guys. Like, what is it that I'm doing wrong according to your opinions? And what is it that I'm doing right? And what can I do to change it? And all three of you came back with feedback. And I appreciated it because at that time I plateaued and I wasn't getting anywhere. But then, of course, naturally, I got it back. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, because again, like you had like a predisposed view of what crypto can do and who, like how 
good of a character <clears throat> crypto is mm -hmm. and it's and interesting that's, because that's why i requested been... the feedback because yeah. i was going backward into that mentality and i was like I, if i go back i will not pick him up again ever and it was just once again be bangalore and i didn't want that because i was going to burn out and i would have retired for like 100 percent i can assure you retirement was around the corner if you guys had not given me feedback straight up 100 percent 